Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen the typecasting and how we can typecast the values in the DOM element and all those things we have seen, right? So these thing, these typecasting things you will be using most in the Angular and all the, and also in Angular and uh, TypeScript co coding if you do, you will be using this typecasting thing, okay? Now we will go to another concept, uh, index types, okay? So as it is a TypeScript, so you will be having so much of uh, things regarding the types only in the TypeScript. So be with me why because so the types regarding the types is the most important thing in the typescript so that is the reason now here in the typescript what i can do is uh, you will have a scenario in the real time scenario i will tell you for example in the real time scenario you have a registration form or something like the registration form you will be having okay i for that registration form you will try to display the errors okay you want to display the errors for example you will be having an email email input box for that one you need to show the error something like email is required for username username is required for password password is required like this you, you will be having some error error errors you need to display uh, in the in the output okay in the html output so the how you will be maintaining that one you will be maintaining it as an object you will be having email uh, email property username and all this you will be having so that you will loop the foreign loop for that one foreign loop you will loop so that you will uh, display all the things you will be displayed but uh, so that means how you will be having this one uh, like this you will be maintaining email uh, email is valid something like this you will have so this type of uh, error container you will be having username mm, username is valid okay you will be having this type of all the all the all the elements whatever the elements you are having html input elements you are having you will be mentioning all these things in object so that with a single for loop you can display all the errors in the html input so how we can maintain the type for this type of things okay why because we don't know how many elements will be there in the uh, html input element and also we don't know the names also okay tomorrow the name also can change okay we don't know the name also and also we don't know the how many elements also it may not exist a errors will may not exist and also error may exist okay if a only email error will be exist why because he has filled all the form but email is he he, he hasn't filled that one so you need to show email is valid something like that you need to show so only in error container you will be having only one one error thing so how we can represent that one using a type so i will try with the interface so you will be having interface i can maintain something like error container okay now i can use email uh, it's a string uh, username is a string i cannot maintain this one as a compulsory field why because email may exist or may not exist right so for this one I can do for the index thing as a dynamic one. So interface, how we can mention is as a square bracket. So prop or key, you can mention whatever the name you want. Okay, prop or key, you can mention whatever the name you want. Prop should be of a string. So that means email, username, where password, uh, everything. So prop should be of string, and the error message is also of type string. Okay. So like this, we can mention the interface. So that means you can have any number of properties you want. That property should be of type string. And the value also holds the type of uh, value also holds it as string now you have an error container error container means nothing but the errors what you want to show what you will be showing in the output so now here you will be having some um, error bag will maintain that one as error bag so that it will be very easy now i will be having of type error container okay so for example for the first time it will be of type empty so problem will not be there so there is no problem for this one why because we will not show any errors uh, so now we got a error email is valid so i can write directly email email is email is valid okay so now this one is also valid one okay so this key key prop is uh, satisfying and also this string is satisfying so for example if i do one here it also satisfies why because one also it can convert into string but if you mention here as a number now you cannot convert this one to email here now error will come why because property accepts it as a number but here we are giving it as a string so that is the reason so now we can convert it to string and here what i can do is i can write another one as username so how many you want to display you can display this one so we have mentioned this error bag an interface or a type such that index properties we have maintained the we have created the index properties okay index for the properties we have maintained dynamic okay and also you can mention if you want to bone bone also you can mention 
ID string. So that now in this error bag, we need to must and should we need to mention the ID of one or something like this. You cannot mention this one as a number. Okay, you will get an error. Why? Because ID is also a dynamic prop string only. Okay, this is one type of the prop string only. But this accepts as the only a string. So here the conflict rises. So why? Because ID this satisfying this prop string. But here this is not satisfying. So here this is this is satisfying and this one is also satisfying. So that is the reason conflict is rising. So for that for that reason you can you have to mention string only one one type only you need to mention. Okay. So for this type of error containers and all those things, these index properties will be very useful. Okay. These are the index properties how we can mention the types for the indexes also. You can mention the types or uh, indexes also types like this using an interface. Okay. If you have any doubts or any suggestions. Please post the comment below to this video and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.